Hey everybody. How y'all doing? It's Mike here of Way of Life. Hope everybody's doing okay today. Um, y'all, I just kind of want to do a little quick video, show you what I was into. Um, my last video, I showed y'all some of the projects I was going to be working on. And, uh, just want to show y'all. I went on and refurbished that hatchet head. This was my granddaddy's old hatchet, y'all. I took it over here on the grinder and buffed it and ground down. Got it all um, painted and sharpened the edge up on it pretty good there. And uh, maybe one more final sharpening when we get it all done. And y'all seen, I was talking about that old handle, how rough it was. And it was just a just a really short hatchet, you know. So uh, what I did, I got out this morning, um, went and cut me a piece of hackberry. And um, the reason I'm going to use hackberry, y'all, it's a real dense wood. It's hard. Um, after it dries, it's kind of lightweight, and I went out there and cut me a piece today. And if y'all notice, I made this just a little bit longer than what it was. I think this was around 14 inches, and I made this about 22. Um, more or less converting this hatchet over to a small camp axe. And uh, I don't know if y'all can see, but I've already got drawed on there where I'm going to whittle it out. I actually already started whittling. That's going to be the flat part where the hatchet hit actually slides on to when I get that all done and uh, that's what I was doing now y'all just kind of whittling getting everything um, trimmed down and uh, show y'all a couple more things I was working on while I was over grinding the hatchet head buffing it down getting it cleaned up getting it ready to paint um, I made me a couple of templates I told y'all I was going to start doing some knives and some different crafts and stuff I made me a couple of templates of some different different size different length different shape different tip blades and that's gonna be my template for when I get my good metal and um, cut those out of it and uh, y'all I've been working on this knife and uh, I got this thing just about ready I was actually buffing it and getting it all polished up and stuff I'm um, trying to get all the marks out of the blade and uh, getting ready for a final sharpening well, I got to look at it. I don't know if y'all be able to see, but um, I had a little spot here in the metal that was kind of pitted before I got it all buffed down, ground down. I was trying to get that out, and I got to looking. There's actually a hairline crack right there, so I guess this piece of metal had a crack in it, stress fracture or something. So I'm not going to be able to do anything with that knife, so kind of keep it and use it or whatever. But uh, that's actually what I've been using to do a little bit of this whittling, trying to test it out there after I got it all buffed up and stuff. But anyway, y'all, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to whittle this down, get it trimmed down. Like I said, I've already got it marked out. I took all the bark off and got it ready, and uh, I'm going to continue to whittle this down, and um, when I get ready for the next step, I'll let y'all see what we got going on. All right, everybody. Y'all know I've been working on this hatchet, and uh, I'm going to show y'all what I come up with. Of course, this was the handle before. And uh, like I said, this is my granddaddy's old hatchet. And uh, um, this thing wore out, cracked, chipped, busted. But y'all, I wanted to keep that hatchet because it was my granddad's. And uh, I wanted to put a new handle in it. And y'all, I've kind of done something a little different. This is the old handle. I made it about six inches longer. It was a 14 inch handle. It's now a 20 inch handle. And um, I've done something a little different, y'all. If y'all can see these divots that I put in it. Of course, this one, just a hand hole. Um, it's going to work real good. And I made one up here, too. And I'll tell you why I did that. So that way, when I'm working on stuff up close, I can control this hatchet and not, you know, cut myself or be in any danger. You know, I can control it better. Instead of trying to hold it way back here, you know, I can control it by holding it up here close to the head and working on fine stuff, small stuff. And uh, so, so y'all, that's what I got so far. Like I told y'all, I made this out of hackberry, and the reason I did because it's a it's a real dense wood. It's as it dries, it's really lightweight and it's strong, y'all. And if you don't believe that. Just try to whittle on this. I put hours into whittling this handle down. Of course, y'all saw the stick before I started. It was quite a bit bigger. But um, 
y'all so far that's what I've come up with and uh, never never made one exactly like this before but growing up um, we made every handle for axe shovels anything we use we made the handles you know for them but uh, y'all my next step of course y'all see I've got a hole drilled here and uh, I'm gonna put a lanyard on it where I can put it around my wrist when I'm using it down here and I'm gonna make a cover for it and uh, we're gonna make all that out of leather so y'all once I get everything going and get started on the leather I'll uh, keep you updated we'll see how this project turns out feels real good <coughs> all right everybody y'all gonna have to kind of look over me right now I got a some kind of head cold chest cold going on but uh I just want to show y'all the progress I'm making on this hatchet um camp axe whatever you want to call it y'all saw I took the old handle out refurbished the head um then I got it all ground down sharpened painted I actually got the uh I put a coat of sealer on the handle and the hatchet head I've added a leather strap to it and uh what I'm working on now y'all I took a piece of leather laid down and I pretty much just traced the head but I allowed a little bit around all the way around on both sides and uh, then y'all been stitching this together and that's what I'm working on now and uh, the way I'm doing this of course I got my twine there my string and uh, got a needle on each end okay so what I'm gonna do show y'all here if I can get this started I'm going to put one needle through both both pieces get it pretty much halfway alright now one needle's on one side one's on the other so what I'm going to do Go through the next hole on both sides from this side. And go back the other way, the opposite way, through the hole, the same hole from the other side. And that's what gives us our stitch, y'all. Alright, I'm going to go and get this thing sewed up, and uh, we'll see how it goes, y'all. Alright, y'all. I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing to make this stitch. All I'm doing, got a needle on each side, thread all the way through. Going through from this way with this needle. Alright. Then, through the same hole, I'm going through the same hole the opposite direction with the opposite needle pull both of them tight that's all you do over and over to make that stitch alright y'all I want to show you what I did here took a piece of deer antler sliced it like a little washer took and drilled me a couple holes in it and used that to make a latch or clasp on my hatchet cover deer horn button all right y'all that's what we're going to end up with that's my refurbished hatchet new handle strap on the end and leather water resistant cover but anyway y'all I just want to kind of share with you that's one of the projects I was talking about doing and uh, I think it turned out pretty good something different also put me a belt loop on the back where I can hook it on my belt or my backpack but anyway y'all um, I guess I don't know for sure what I'm gonna be into next but uh, whatever it is y'all I'll make sure and get a video of it and uh, we'll see y'all next time